Hi, I'm Tish and welcome back to Auto Social UK. Now those of you that have been following me for a little while know that I have a thing for small cute cars. I own two of them. But today I'm in Coventry to test out what is possibly the smallest and cutest vehicle I could get my hands on and that's the Citroen Ami. Now this thing is really impressive and I can't wait to tell you about it and even take it for a drive. So if that sounds good, then please keep watching. And if you like new car reviews and car content, please don't forget to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Okay, let's chat about the little Ami. At the dawn of its 101st year in production, Citroen is making its mark by unveiling the 100% electric Ami, inspired by the Ami One concept. It measures at just 2.41 metres in length and 1.39 metres wide, making it even smaller than the Smart by a fair chunk. It weighs just 500 kilos even with the battery, almost identical to the classic 2CV, and less than a quarter of the weight of an electric car like the Polestar 2. So you'll notice that I said vehicle rather than car, and that's because the Citroen Ami isn't actually classed as a car, it's classed as a quadricycle. And what that means is you can actually drive this without a full license, meaning that where it's sold in France, you can drive it from just 14 years old. Now it hasn't been completely confirmed that the little Ami will be coming to the UK. However, there have been rumours and Citroen have been teasing it on their social media with the little Ami parked underneath the London Eye. And what that means is that people in the UK will be able to drive this car from the age of just 17. So it's a really good option for getting on the road. But what is it? So it's a fully electric vehicle with a 5.5 kilowatt battery and it will do around 43 miles on a full charge, which doesn't sound great, but it charges in just three hours and that's from a three prong charger. So no need to have a wall box or any of those fancy things. And you don't even need to have a full cable as the cable is all rolled up in the side door of the Ami. So that all sounds great, but what would people be using the Citroen Ami for? Well, Citroen are thinking that people are going to mostly use this car as a subscription service. Think electric scooters, but you're not going to get caught in the rain. And I think that's a really good option. 43 miles is enough as long as you're plugging it in to whiz around the city quite a few times on a full charge. The only issue is this car only does 28 miles per hour, which I think is going to be a real problem. And I'm actually feeling a little bit nervous about getting out into Coventry town because I'm going to hold some traffic up. So I'm going to have to give everybody a great big smile so I don't annoy them too much. But hopefully just the look of the Citroen Ami is going to put a smile on everyone's face. I just absolutely love it. Ever since I saw this car launched by Citroen, I've fallen in love with it because it's just so quirky and I guess a little bit silly looking. You might have noticed that it's very symmetrical and that's because the front of the Ami and the rear of the Ami is exactly the same and even are the side panels, even to an extent where the driver's side door opens up this way and then when you come around to the side, the passenger's side opens the opposite way round. And the reason they've done this is to save money on production of the Citroen Ami, because that's what it's been designed to be, a really cheap production vehicle. But how cheap, you say? Well, this car will cost you brand new, just 6,000 euros in France, which I think it's incredible and I'd much rather be whizzing around on one of these than something like a moped. So I think it gives a great option for getting a lot of people on the road whilst also saving the environment. Let's talk about styling because look at that little face. It's so cute, but it's kind of only a face a mother could like. A little bit like a pug or even a baby rhinoceros. But I really like the Ami styling. It's chosen not to blend in with the crowd. It doesn't want to look like a normal car. It wants to scream, this is something different and ask me about it. And that's what I love about it. It comes in six different kind of color combinations and they're all interchangeable. As you can see, we've got the light gray with the orange kind of accents around it. We've also got these hubcap style wheels but I'm not even mad at the fact that these are hubcaps. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a very cheap car, but these actually don't look too bad. I think at first glance, it's not obvious that they're still wheels. 
around the back of the AMI and as I mentioned the front is exactly the same as the rear to keep costs down but there's also something else missing there's no boot so what is storage like on the Citroen AMI so yes storage is a premium I'm not going to pretend that it's absolutely massive in here but Citroen have gone to some length to make sure that it's practical and mostly practical for people that are doing city commuting so that means that this section in front of the passenger seat will actually fit a small hold on luggage and really it's quite large back there as it goes all the way up into the top of the dash so you can pop things safely out of the way and if you don't want your bag to slide around when you're doing the massive of 28 miles per hour you have got a luggage hook there as well so really I think it's quite practical but how is it for taller people because it does look tiny in here space for even tall people isn't too bad in the Citroen AMI but it's how accommodating it is for little people this seat will really slide all the way forward meaning that you're really close to the steering wheel I guess this has been designed so that 14 year olds in France can drive this car but it also slides quite far back as well to accommodate people with large legs which is really handy in fact I would go as far as to say that there's more space in this Citroen AMI than there is in my Arbath so what is realistically the chance of the Citroen AMI coming to the UK while a lot of you might be looking at this and saying god that's absolutely awful it's never going to come to the UK but actually over on Citroen's website 10,500 plus people have registered their interest in the Citroen AMI and you might be thinking why but you have to look into people's lives and where the Citroen AMI would fit into them now in a lot of car reviews I've seen people say that they're perfect for cities and you can whiz around the city and share it with people however I actually know an instance where something like this is absolutely perfect and that's actually when I went away to the Lake District this year I was 30 miles away from any service stations to get fuel and it was really a little bit tricky and as I was navigating around those Lake District roads even in my tiny little Volkswagen up it was a little bit tricky and then the owner of the hotel turns up in a Renault Twizy and I just thought that's absolutely perfect she plugs it in at her hotel she plugs it in at the restaurant that she works at and she whizzes to and from that on the back roads of the Lake Districts with little to no problems and for a £6,000 or €6,000 outlay to have that kind of ease of drive around somewhere like that I think this is absolutely perfect so will the AMI be coming to the UK? I kind of really hope so Despite the cost saving techniques, there is still a panoramic sunroof. The doors are opened and closed using red pull straps. There are two keys, one to unlock the AMI and the second to start the ignition. There is a very small digital screen displaying your battery, speed, driving mode and mileage. The plastic steering wheel does feel understandably cheap and it might have been nice to have a slightly higher quality material. Sat nav and music are accessed via a smartphone placed in the dedicated area in the middle of the dashboard and can work in correspondence with the Citroen app. Considering the target audience, the lack of sound system is a shame, but it has been designed to hold a Bluetooth speaker. Okay, so the plan is to go and get coffee and to, uh, fingers crossed, not end up on a fast road which I'm extremely nervous because this car will literally do 28 miles per hour. Um, so if I end up on a fast road, and I'm really worried because sometimes Google Maps does that really annoying thing, or my Apple Maps does that really annoying thing where it reroutes you even if you pick the different route to like the quickest one. So who knows? Um, if I end up on a fast road, I guess it will be funny for you guys. Um, I have a feeling I might have a mild panic attack. But let's get going. So I did drive this car really quickly around the car park and one thing I noticed almost instantly is the sound. So I've gotten used to kind of really quiet electric cars. That's the thing about electric, isn't it? It's so quiet. Uh, the AMI sounds like a jet taking off. Wait for the little bleep. That means that it's ready. Put it into drive. And um, yeah, are you ready for the jet? 
handbrake off. Windows come straight down, so that's helpful. And I feel like I'd be doing a disservice to everybody if I didn't try a handbrake turn. I mean, Car Wow have done it. Car Gurus have done it. <laughs> okay, that is a lot of fun. And I feel like I'll never be invited back to Citroen if I do that too many times. But how brilliant is that? Imagine if you're 17 years old and you get to hire a Citroen, uh, an Ami for like an hour and you get to do handbrake hands around the car park. Right, so this, this is what I mean. This is the route. And apparently the route through the middle will take me onto a fast road. The route at the bottom will take me onto a fast road. So the only route we want is the one at the top. Oh dear, I'm sorry commentary. I am ready to hold you up. The good thing with the Ami is that because it's electric, despite the fact that it only does 25, um, 28 miles per hour, it does pull off quite quickly. Mind you, I think I might still give myself a bit of a run up. There isn't actually a rear view mirror, so that is a bit odd. Right. We're gonna go for it. Keep going, keep going. Right, we're going, we're going, we're going. We've beat the jazz. The jet plane has started. See, whizzing around like the housing estates, it actually feels quite fast. I say fast, it feels like you wouldn't need to go any faster. I would go as far as to say, I know this car has been built for a purpose and that purpose is to be extremely kind of affordable, but it is really, really loud in here. It's making people smile though. It's making me smile. Okay, so on this 30 mile per hour road, we're actually keeping up with traffic quite well. And do you know what's great? I know I can floor it and not have to worry about going above 30 miles per hour, which is really handy. As soon as this thing stops, it's, it's quite enjoyable. It is really strange though, this whole being surrounded by plastic, it f does feel a lot like you're at a children's play park. I feel like these should be whizzing around a track at Legoland. Maybe that's what you need to be able to drive one of these, your, your Legoland driving licence. Do you remember those? I wonder if statistically those kids that got their Legoland licence are now better drivers. Because I didn't, I never got my Legoland licence and I'm, yeah, I'm not the best. So maybe that goes to prove that. So I'm not much looking forward to going through this drive through because um, obviously I'm on the wrong side. So that should be interesting. But I do really need a drink because suddenly with no air con and no windows that really stay open, I'm hot. So we need to get something cold. Fun fact, I used to work at Costa. Look at me now. Living the dream. Who wants to be a manager of Costa Coffee when you can drive an Ami around Coventry? Right. Where's the thing? Here? Good morning, welcome to Costa. Can I take your order, please? Yes, please. Can I have um, a strawberry lemonade? Yeah, we can only do the uh, ice drinks in smalls. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, anything else for you? No, that's everything, thanks. Okay, drive around, thank you. Thanks. Now I've got to get it through the window, which should be interesting. <laughs> hey! This is possibly the hardest car to do this in ever, but... 
Thank you. It is a Citroen Ami, because um, like Citroen HQ is literally around the corner. Oh. So, but they're only sold in France. And they're going to be sold in the UK, but you can drive them at, on a provisional license. So, yeah, but look, success! I got a strawberry lemonade. It wasn't even that difficult. So I have heard that if the Ami comes to the UK, it will still stay a left-hand drive, as far as I'm aware. Um, which I guess now I've realised isn't too much of a problem. Especially if you've got a passenger in as they can sort out all of that bit. But yeah. God, this is really good. So, I've made pretty good time actually. And um, I guess we'll head back. So there you have it, a short and sweet review, just like the short and sweet little Lammy. I've had such a good day with it and I just want to say a massive thank you to Citroen for inviting me to go and drive the Ami. I really hope in a few years time, maybe even sooner, rather than grabbing an e-scooter, rather than jumping in an Uber, that we might be driving a Citroen Ami. What do you think of the Ami? Would you drive one or would you rather be seen dead than drive one? <laughs> please let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. Until next time, bye.